Hello everybody, this is Delane from Color Pocket and I wanted today to show you how to do this kind of fun background um, that I did on this card from the Butterflies 2 deck. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna only use two pencils. The Color Pocket pencil that has the dark orange and the light orange and the Color Pocket pencil that has the darker yellow and the lighter yellow. So, to get this background, what I did was I started out kind of outlining a little bit with the really dark orange. And I'm gonna push pretty hard. Um, and I'm just going into the center areas here around the dragonfly. Now I did this at the very end of the card, but I thought for demonstration purposes, we could go ahead and do it first. Now the reason why I am doing this little outlining part is because then it gives you something to color into and so you don't have to worry as much about staying within the lines and stuff. So I'm going to go right here and do my darker orange and go around a little bit. Okay, so once I have that, then I'm going to color with the dark orange and I'm going pushing fairly hard. You can always come in and add more, like push harder and, and color it more, but you can't take it away. So you can start light and, and push harder than later if you want to. So I'm kind of lightening it up when I get here to the end. I'm not pushing as hard, but down toward the center of the image, I am pushing pretty hard. Okay, so I've got a little bit of lighter area, a little bit of darker area, a little up here too. Okay, then the next color I'm going to use is the lighter orange. So again, I'm going to do some of the edges here just to give me something to color into so I'm not worried about going across the lines or getting it on the rest of the image. Go around the little dragonfly's face a little bit. Okay, and once I get that outline done, then I'm going to push pretty hard and I'm coloring back into where I was before. And so that really will kind of blend your colors together. So you can't really see a line where the dark orange ends and the lighter orange begins. And I always kind of go in circles. It helps blend blend everything together nicely. And give them a little bit of the orange up here in between the antennas. And I'm pushing pretty hard. Down there, the closer I get to the center. Okay, next I'm going to switch to the darker yellow, the yellowy gold, and I'm gonna continue the same process. So I'm gonna come out here a little bit. Along the edges. And that part actually is pretty close together, so I'm gonna go ahead and just color it in pretty hard right from the beginning. All right, come out a little bit. All right, and then do my circles. And I always make sure I go back onto the other color that I just previously did because then that will blend, blend them together nicely. And I'm pushing pretty hard.
So this is kind of a fun um, background, but it's, you know, pretty easy to do, uh, but it looks dramatic. This would also be good for coloring candy corn uh, at Halloween time, in case you ever have to do that. <laughs> okay, the last color I'm using is the very light yellow. And I'm pushing hard and going back onto the darker yellow. And if you see any areas in the orange that look like they're a little light, go ahead and put some of the yellow on top of them too. That'll sort of blend it in and bring that light um, in closer. A little bit right here. So you can do this with all kinds of different colors. I just chose this because I, I wanted it to look sort of like a sunrisey, sunset, glowing sort of thing around the dragonfly, but you could do this with almost any set of two pencils, it's just as long as you kind of try to blend them together. All right, so there you have it. It's an easy thing to do and a fun thing to do and just give you a little punch in your backgrounds. Thanks for watching.